Hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here today to share with you our vision for the confidential computing of us. My name is Xin Zhang. I'm from Intel, and my colleague He Liang will present with me. Today, we want to introduce a new solution about how to make our fast function more secure with the help of confidential computing and WASM. If you have any questions, please contact any one of us via the email. So before I get into the details of our proposed solution, I want to take some time to discuss our self-conception that we are going to mention later in our talks to ensure that we are on the same page. This will give everyone a clear understanding of the topics. Then we will discuss the challenges and potential solutions in the market. We will list some typical use cases and the challenges that we face. We also will discuss some solutions to these challenges, giving you an insight into our proposal. Uh, finally, we will show you our reference architecture, which includes the architect, uh, architecture diagram and all the components that we use in our work. This will give you an understanding of the design choice we make and how they impact the confidential computing. So first, I'd like to give you some background notion that uh, you can use to easily understand today's topic. The first one is service. What's it, what is service? Service is a kind of method which allow the developers to de deploy their function uh, without any knowledge of the server running in the backend. In this way, all the developers need to do is to provide their function code to the CSP. And the CSP is responsible to run the, run the function in their uh, infrastructure. But it will also bring some security concern, especially for the highly sensitive applications. The goal of our uh, solution is to solve this kind of concern. The second item is Vasm and Varma. It is a platform independent solution for users to write and execute their functions. It is portable and can be deployed on a different environment. As I mentioned, uh, the service is a cloud computing model where uh, CSP manage the cloud computing infrastructures required for providing results according to customers' needs. And uh, the function as a service of us is a service way to uh, run functions in any, any uh, cloud environment. With FAS, developer can focus on writing function code without the need to build their application or maintain the required infrastructure. In our work, we chose Knative as a fast orchestration layer because it is uh, Kubernetes-based and it is open sourced. You can easily take our uh, solution as an, uh, as an reference and leverage it into your own service uh, environment. Initial use an uh, event driving computing mode as others. The function are triggered by a specified event, such as a uh, message queue, HTTP request, or any or any event source from the cloud. Once an event received, the fast function will be triggered and the FAST platform will automatically build the execution uh, environment and run the function in this environment. Also, a function can invoke another function as well as other uh, cloud service, such as a storage service. As I mentioned in the previous slides, we chose 
Cognitive as our service platform. Cognitive provides auto scaling for uh, for for a function instance to match the incoming request number. As shown in this figure, uh, the client will invoke the function via an ingress gateway, and the activator is a cognitive component who's responsible to start the first in uh, first cognitive uh, function instance. The cognitive service will be created uh, in, a, in a container running in, in a Kubernetes port. This container is called user, user container. And also in this port, there's another container called QProxy. The QProxy is a sidecar container to queue uh, incoming requests and forward them to the, uh, to the user container. And it will also collect the metrics and report them to the autoscaler components. According to the metrics, the autoscaler received, uh, it will compute the replica member based on the al algorithm and decide whether it needs increase or decrease the pod number. Then the autoscaler will invoke the deployment controller uh, to adjust the the pod the pod's number. So we can see from here, the Kinetic platform provides zero to one pods creation as well as one to n replication. So the next item is Intel SGX and Intel Ember. Intel SGX is a technology developed by Intel, uh, which provides a secure execution environment for applications, uh, protecting them from both uh, software and hardware attacks. It enables the creation of secure enclave, which are isolated, which are isolated area of, uh, of memory where code and data can be processed without being visible to other part of the system. This helps to ensure that sensitive data remain confidential and also ensure the integrity of the code. Uh, the Intel Amber service is a uh, service that aims to provide a framework for developers to developing uh, their confidential computing applications using Intel XGX technology. Uh, this service provides the, uh, the remote uh, attestation uh, where, uh, where which allow applications to verify the identity of the remote part they are communicating with help to provide attacks by malicious actor. Overall, Intel Ember is a valuable resource for developers which uh, look to build secure confidential computing applications using uh, Intel SGX technology. Here is a simple introduction about HTTP in our solution. We use, H we use HTTPA as the communication protocol. HTTPA is HTTP attestable. It defines an HTTP extension to do the remote uh, attestation, secret uh, provisioning, and private data transmission. Because it is HTTP based, so it also works on layer 7. The difference between HTTP and HTTPA is that HTTPA requires the attestation before establishing uh, a secure tunnel. The caller should, uh, should attest if the caller is running an SGX enclave before sending data. In addition, in addition uh, the mutual attestation is also supported. Here is an overall of the total solution. There are several projects involved. Uh, 
at the bottom, it is uh, Kubernetes. The Kubernetes provides a basic basic infrastructure. On the right bottom, there are there's uh, uh, Intel SGS device plugin, which is one of the Intel device plugin uh, implemented in Kubernetes. It manage it manages the the SGX resource on the host and report it to Kubernetes. On the top of Kubernetes, there's a Knative. Our secure function is running as a as a Knative service on this level. Besides, the function is running in Intel SGX Enclave to provide the security. Also the uh, the user handler function is transferred and distributed in Watson module. All the traffic is based on uh, HTTP protocol, where uh, Amber service provides the remote uh, attestation to ensure, ensure the Knative service is running in a trusted execute environment. Uh, you may feel a little confused now. We will in, uh, we will explain what's the what's the purpose of each uh, project or each component and how they work together to realize this total solution. So I'd like to pass to my colleague Helia and have you continue to introduce the remain content to you guys. Thank you. Hey, this is Liang from Intel. I'm going to keep showing, keep the representation about us and uh, security and WASA. So our next uh, part is about challenges and uh, solutions. We're going to start with three use cases. So the first use case involves a uh, company that has set up their own fast platform, which run their own proprietary algorithm and sensitive data. In order to ensure the security and privacy of this data, they have implemented SGX enclaves to isolate the code and the data being processed. One of their main concerns is about the risk of the attack from internal the minister who may have access to the platforms. Another concern is about the risk of malfunctioning operators who may inadvertently or intentionally cause damages to the functions or the whole platform. And the second use case involves a startup company, startup company that use, is using a public fast platform to run their private algorithms and sensitive data to ensure the security and the privacy of their data. They can implement SGX enclaves to assess the code and data being processed. Still, their main concern is about the possibility that the cloud service provider, CSP, may have access to algorithm and the data, which could compromise their own IP and competitive advantage. Another concern is from other users of the same fast platform who may try to access their data and uh, or disrupt the whole their functions. The third use case is a developers who wants to use a third party image processing function to handle some personal images. Of course it's on this it's also on the same on same public platform. To ensure the security and privacy of the personal data, they can run algorithm in an SGX enclave, which may isolate the code and the data being processed. One of the main concern of this developer is the risk of the data leakage, both from the third party function or the CSP that is hosting this function. So as we see overall, all three use cases both have some additional security concern besides using SGX or 
test their execution environment first. They have to trust the CSP and other users or services in the same platform. Second, they have to trust the algorithm authors. If we want to achieve a fully protection, we shall test more than what we are doing, we can do now. In order to give a summary impression, we itemize the key aspect of the trusting and confidential requirement with all in, in use cases. And we classify this request in two categories. Function provider means the functions authors also. So in this side, we, the privacy of the source code, the key stored in the enclave, and the function running in the enclave. Second part is the function consumer, the privacy of the request data. The data is being processed in the enclave. The function is provided or provided without any changes. And uh, the last one, the privacy of the response data. Here is something I want you to notice. So the key here is not just about the about the attestation or attestation in for the enclave. And we are here to use it to decrypt the privacy data and or the functions. I want to explain this later. And both request data and the response data should be encrypted end to end. That's what we want. And uh, this page is a uh, mapping map to all the security related requests from fast work and uh, all the items we want to protect uh, from previous sites. So the green part is the security part. I think this is the, it's worth to note that the invoke and create a function is our main target to protect. No, we don't want to uh, involve the K-native events for now. So one of the challenge facing in the uh, fast platform today is the requirement for the multi-compilers and runtimes to support a variant program languages. Maintaining this can be a big effort and it can pose a significant burden on platform operators. To address this challenge, we propose the development of a cross-platform or cross-language distribution format for fast platform. By providing a standard format for code distribution, we can reduce the need for multiple compilers and runtimes and make it easier for fast platforms to support a wide range of programming language. The new distribution format will not only simplify the maintenance of fast platforms, but also improve the developer experience by enable them to use their preferred program language without any have to worry about the compatibility issues. So in this part, we represent what's up. And as we know, another concern is HTTPS is currently the most widely used security protocol for communication over the internet. We have identified a significant flaw. However, in the current implementation of the HTTPS on gateway system. Specifically, all encryption in the message are decrypted at the decrypted at the message, mean that services behind the gateways can see all information that is supposed to be protected. This poses a significant risk to the privacy and the security of the sensitive data that is transmitted over the internet. So to address this challenge, we propose a new approach to secure communication that does not rely on to the direct decryption of the message at the gateways. By using end-to-end -end encryption, we can ensure that the sensitive data remain protected throughout the transmission process and is only decrypted at the end of the destination. This approach will not only improve the privacy and the 
security of the sensitive data also provide a more efficient and uh, scalable solution for secure communication over the whole internet. So the next session will introduce the architecture and uh, components of this solution. In this slide, I would like to highlight some service platform that has its has its own challenge. So here, as we explained in the previous slides, our solution require an encrypted WASM module as the user's handler's function. And the service platform can create more native service in order to do the auto scaling. However, the function provider and the consumer are not aware of the auto scaling. So the platform to need to a place to store and distribute the user sprite key by itself. This is why we are going to add a new service called Secure Store in the Knative framework. It aims to store the user's private key in SGX and the distributed key via the HTTPA protocol when a new Knative service is created. This is how a uh, secure store located in our design. We added as a service this control platform service. The service will monitor the Knative service resource update. Once a new security Knative service created, the secure store will find the corresponding private key and uh, prepare to send it to the Knative services. Before sending the key, the secure store should uh, first uh, test the Knative service in HTTPA to make sure it's running inside a uh, SGX enclave. If the attestation success, the secure store sends the key to the Knative service. In this way, we solve the service unique challenge here. So as a summary, first, our design proposed the following three points. The first one is to provide a security store, security store to hold the private key. The second one is to create a secure user-defined handler function from a encrypted WASM module and uh, get the private key from secure store, of course. And then the last one is to access the security function or security store from an end-to-end -end protocol, HTTP security tunnel. So here is a very detailed of our solution and uh, we can go through it first step by step. Mm, first, the function provider, also named function author, need to define or create or write its own secured uh, user, de uh, user defined handler function and uh, package it into a uh, awesome module and uh, signed or signing encrypted and upload it to the Knative. And the second step here, the function provider need to attest the security store service as well. By the Ambrose service to make sure the security store itself is running in the trusted environment. And the third step, the function provider will store the private key in security store. This key will be used later to decrypt the WASM module in the following steps. So until now, the function provider all need to do three steps. 
a DOM. And the next step is from the function consumer to invoke other function. The secure consumer can invoke this function actually with the HTTPA. In this step, Knative will at least create one secure function, user defined function. If the traffic is very heavy, then a new red link will deal with it. Knative will auto scale the new replica creation. Once the traffic arrive in the security function, the consumer will test security function with the help of the Ember. Yep. So to make sure the function user defined has been authorized. And then the security store will notice there are some new Secure function created in the cluster, and you will attest them and push the private key. Yeah, it's the very last step. Yeah, the security function here, this one, will be decrypted, go as a module, and start serving. So the all use case, all use. Request message will be sent to the WASM module directly. After processing, finally, the consumer will receive the response. So, this is a whole flow about how we make a service function secure and how to make all the data transmission secure and confident. If we take a very close look at what happened in the user defined function, or we call it a secure function or service. So the key component of this architecture is about two things. First, SGX enclave, and second, a WASM module, which contain uh, User defined handler function. So there is a part there, are, inside these two parts, there is a HTTP server here to handle all the communication thing. Each function will run within an SGX enclave, which, you know, it's a secure hardware based on the execution environment that provides identity and uh, Integrity. The function code is compiled into a WASM module, which is very, you know, cross platform, cross language, widely used. The WASM module is firstly, it's encrypted and uh, signed for security purpose and uploaded from through a store, storage, secure store, as we mentioned before. When the function is invoked, the HTTP server receives the request and first established a secured connection with the gateway. The HTTP server is responsible for generating codes and authorizing request and receive the security key, which is used to decrypt the WASM module. The HTTP server then dispatches incoming request to the WASM runtime, which executes the WASM module and uh, gets to return the response. Overall, this fast architecture provides a secure, efficient way to execute user defined functions using a combination of the hardware based security, low level binary code, which is cross platform, cross language, and a security communication protocol. Thank you.
This is Warfoot today.